All right, chat. This is a game called Poltergeist Watcher. So. Let's get those visuals up. All right. I think this is an anomaly game. Um, I don't know how much mileage we're going to get out of this, but I had it in my inventory, and I figured I enjoyed the anomaly games I did earlier in the year, so this could be fun to check out. Related to Poopergeist, listener. Yes. What is a detector? Well, I think we need to get Mike Stoklaza, Rich Evans, and Jay Bauman here so they can do some ghost detecting. And Freddy, too. Yeah, they can just, you know, bring bring their tools. The one that says, broken, scared, broken, scared. Legs. Don't forget to tape the paper on the ceiling. Very important ghost technique. So, for those that don't know the genre, what you what you end up doing is just watching, looking for weird things or differences. And then um, report them. I don't see anything different. Sounds appeared. It's a weird way to put that. Sounds appeared. Pollution. <laughs> I like that pollution is just one of the options. Misspelled, too. Wow, this is a high-quality video game we got here, chat. I am not crazy. It, it won after Magna Carta. Wow. Sure. Oh, sure, just looking at things very closely. That's, that's uh, getting real spooked, chat. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I'm, if, listen, if I sound scared, it's because I am. Where's Freddy? Do you hear anything? Did you hear a weird noise, chat?
No. Okay, never mind then. Sound appeared. I gotta be honest, if an object is moved, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm sure there's some piece of furniture that's different, and I just don't know what it is. The white chair in the kitchen. Sound appeared. I just hear pissing. White chair in kitchen. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Moved or appeared? <clears throat> I don't know if that worked. Ooh. The detector just exploded. Shit. I, I guess you can only use it a little bit. I'm not seeing anything particularly scary. Was that box there? In the in the middle on the rug? No, right? All right, there's there's another one. I heard that. Um, I have to try to pay attention to the paintings, too, and see if they change. What do you think is causing all this mice or carbon monoxide? Probably, um, what's her name? N uh, Nancy Pomegranate from Twilight. I'm hearing, like, very low, vague noises, but I don't know if it's enough to report. Things are the same. Yeah. What is it? Anomaly. The poltergeist found you. Anomaly's total fourteen? What the fuck are you talking about? Different... Whoa, it's a whole different place now. Those drawers were open in the painting room before. Man, I got none of those anomalies. It's like, okay, so the house is mostly different. I don't know if it's a randomized house or something like that, but... This is the same. 
maybe each like you know each time you play you get different camera angles This is different. Um, light changed. Okay. This just makes me want to play that Night Manor game in UFO 50. Do it? Oh, I finished it already. <laughs> uh, there's a bug. Or maybe it's an orb. Ooh, spooky sp Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. This is, like, maybe this genre isn't for me, because I can't fucking remember every single thing that's in a room, and then when I camera back to it, it's, like, different. Vinny, there was a ghost? Are you sure that wasn't just light? In here, right? Over here. That was light. On the right, the table moved while you were... Huh? Table moved? Something on the table in camera six appeared. I'm gonna take your word for it. I, I didn't even see it get removed. Oh man, I should probably just go back to the observation duty games. I played a couple of those. They were more recommended. <laughs> uh, plate on the floor, Vin. Yeah, but this... Oh, that's what it was? Or is that what it... Oh. No fixes needed. Item moved? I still don't know what the detector really does. Uh, yeah, I think maybe maybe stuff is just too subtle. I feel like observation duty was a little bit more aware of the human brain yacht. I was convinced I heard a sound of like how we we need a little bit because otherwise it's just gonna like all the data of what is in a scene just leaves my brain as soon as I leave the scene. Is the bug not worth reporting? I don't think it's an anomaly. Paper in hallway. <laughs> what? What do you mean, paper in hallway? <laughs> oh, 
Someone said camera five anomaly. I don't see any anomalies here. Painting. Paper lower right corner. I didn't see the change. Maybe this is saying more about me than the game I'm playing, but goddamn. Okay, finally something. <laughs> it's something. That's the thing, like the Anomaly Hunt games that I've played, Observation Duty might have been them, the ones that I'm thinking of, where like, as you're going and finding these minuscule changes which are much more obvious in the observation duty games but also you get scares that are a little bit more frequent like not overly frequent but just enough that it feels like you know you're 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 rewarded for your time as opposed to the same spooky ghost <laughs> try pollution for the bugs you know what? I will. No. Observation Duty 7 just came out. You should play that sometime. Will do. There's a good one called Project 13. Um, do me a favor. If you have any good recommendations for this type of game, but, but like, better, just go ahead and uh, vinesauce.email. Just go ahead and send a message to the contact form. Thank you, Mono. It's just the demo for Observation Duty 7, not the full game. Chess piece moved. I don't believe you. trying really hard to pay attention to all the stuff in the rooms now. Like, this room has just never had anything different, I don't think. But you know what? No. I'm going to say that the painting changed. Oh. It went from one spooky painting to a different one, slightly. You again. Was the statue on the coffee table in the dining room? Always. Let's see. Chat, is the walls bleeding or something? Oh, it might be pollution. Hang on. With one L. That is pollution. You just witnessed pollution. <laughs> on the coffee table. Painting in library. I don't see any paintings.
I solved footsteps. Colonel, I've managed to avoid drowning. Nope. Something opened. Nope. Shadow of a person. Does that count as light changed or an anomaly? That was an anomaly. You don't seem to get penalized for, um... <laughs> Don't laugh at the word penalized, chat. Um, for getting the wrong answer. Hey, babe. Me beetle penal juice. What's different? There's a mole on my back that's gone. Did you notice it? Item disappeared in ladder room. I'm going to take your word for it. Good. Don't know what it was. Still. The plant in camera six has an extra leaf. Okay, does that count as something opened or what? Cursed object, maybe? Cursed window? No. Just maybe item moved. Something opened? Huh. Oh yeah, when you get it wrong, no fixes needed stays up for a long time. I, I don't know. It was just yeah, the window closed. Table pollution. There is pollution on the table. That is true. There is that is pollution. <laughs> pollution. It's such a catch-all word. So that room sucks. Camera four, the box was never there. What was this? The poltergeist found you. Okay, there's that room again. There's that room again. That room. Yeah, I think I might be good on this game. There's no new room. Let me try the tutorial. Uh, false alarms may slow down the removal process. Emits sound based on the poltergeist's activity level. Yeah. The quibbles are awaiting your bets. No, it's cool. I, I mean... Like I said, I've played some of these games where they're really good. 
and I've played some that are just kind of generic and frustrating. Frustrating is the best way I would put that. So you know what, chat? We're going to do something different. I have a game here that I really wanted to check out since I played the demo of it a while back. Lorne's Lore. <laughs> 